Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. The focus of today's video is going to be this coin right here, the 1907 Indian Head Penny. Interestingly, the 1907 Indian Head Penny has four different repunched date varieties. Now, commonly you hear about the repunched mint mark, but this one actually has some repunched dates, and this is the most common Indian Head Penny that you can come across in circulation. But also uh, included here are some of its friends. We've got an 1862 Indian Head Penny. Now this one's a little bit different because it has a different metal composition. You might be able to notice that already. A 1902 Indian Head Penny that's a little well worn out. A Victory Nickel right here that was produced around the same time, 1908, as our featured Indian Head Penny, as well as a 1912 One Penny from the United Kingdom. And we'll have our first coin that we're going to talk about, this one right here. Can anyone guess what we're looking at right here? Any guesses? So this is actually the predecessor to the Indian head penny. This is what's known as the flying scent. Now the flying scent, uh, flying eagle scent, was made for just two years. It was made in 1856, a uh, very small amount, and then it was mass produced in 1857 and 1858. The mintages in 1857 uh, were 17 million, then 1858, 24 million, and that's about it. There was a lot of production errors with the production of this coin right here. So the mint switched over to the Indian head penny. Before we had the Indian head penny and before we had the flying eagle scent, we had a very large one cent coin like the United Kingdom did for a very long time. Now the problem with these uh, large one cents, as you can imagine, is the cost associated with them. So that's why the Mint decided to downsize to the Flying Eagle scent. They had some production problems with that, and then they switched over to the Indian Head Penny. So we've got 1862, uh, 1902, this one's in rough shape, but this is the type of penny that you're still able to pull out of circulation if you get lucky. Uh, now wheat pennies are much more common than Indian head pennies to find in circulation, but these are still out there. As we'll get into, there are over a hundred million of these 1907 Indian head pennies produced. But let's first talk about the difference in metal content between these two coins right here. And I wanna actually flip it over on its side so you can see a side profile of the two. So the, um, the larger ones right in, in the middle there sandwiched in between the other two. So let's talk about why this one right here uh, is a little bit different. Now the reason why it is a little bit different is because of the metal content. This one right here was the original Indian head penny that they made and it had 88% copper, 12% nickel. Now the two on the top have 95% copper, 5% tin and zinc. So you can see that they switched over, they took a lot of the nickel, they took all of the nickel out of the Indian head penny. That's because it was easier to strike um, and they thought it was easier to strike and make so it made sense for them to remove the nickel out of this coin right here. This one was made from uh, starting in 1850 up until 1864 and then they switched over uh, to the different metal content. So this one right here happens to be dated 1862. And now we've got this one right here. We'll also talk about uh, this pen, this one right here, the nickel, a little bit later. That's kind of the featured uh, coin for the end of the show. 1907. So as far as the production amount goes, the 1907 is the highest minted one out there. Uh, the highest mintage has a mintage of 108,138,618. And it's actually the only issue in the series with over 100 million. The lowest reported mintage is the 1909S Indian head, Indian head scent with uh, 309,000. Now 1909 might be a familiar date with you. You've heard many people on YouTube, I'd imagine, talk about the 1909 VDB Lincoln scent. So there are many different varieties out there with 1909. They're producing the Indian head penny at the same time they're producing the start of the wheat penny. And they started off with using the engraver's initials VDB on that 1909 penny. So 1909 featured many different, uh, kind of three different types. We had the Indian head penny, the VDB penny, and then the non-initialed uh, wheat penny. So that caused the production amount for each series to be a little bit lower. Now let's actually talk about some of the design char characteristics that we see right here. 
we've got the Indian head scent on the top. Then flip it over, we've got a shield at the top, one scent in the center, and then a wreath going around it. Now this one right here is in very nice shape. Here's another one that's uh, very similar, but a little bit more worn out. Now PCGS uh, has included the 1909-1907 Indian Head Penny on their price guide. So if you've never looked at that, I'd recommend Googling uh, PCGS Price Guide Indian Head Sense. Now they do break it out between the different uh, brown, red, brown, and uh, red designations. The red designation is going to be the most valuable. That's because these are copper pennies. So they originally come, in, come out looking a little more red, and then they kind of fade and wear and end up looking a little bit more brown. But as far as the price goes for the 19 07 red penny PCGS has graded five of them actually at a mint state 67 the scale goes all the way up until 70 so a mint state 67 is a very high grade it's got a price guide for those mint state 67s of twenty two thousand five hundred dollars now none of those have sold an auction recently the most recent auction results that I can find are February 2018 at a heritage auction. A Mint State 66 sold for $3,120. Now PCGS does have their survival estimate and they've estimated that 1,300 of these have survived in all grades. Now that's a very low amount. Uh, considering that there are over a hundred million of them that were produced, only 1,300 of them are estimated to have survived, and only 400 are estimated to have survived at a mint state 65 or better. Now, the Indian head penny is very collectible, very tradable. The market on it for buying and selling is rather active. So, if you do have a good Indian head penny, you can go to your local coin shop, try and sell it there, or sell it on eBay both places you can also buy coins from there as well so that's the old 1907 whoops i forgot to mention the repunch dates so we have four examples of repunch date dates in the cherry pickers guide so included in those uh, the highest price on them is a um, variety which has a mint state 65 at 400 dollars so for that what you need to focus on is the bottom part of the penny down here at the date it is a repunch date so there's very bold repunching is visible on the nine and the zero so if you have yours that's in great shape and you can see some uh, doubling on the nine and the zero that's what's known as a repunched date although the uh, one that they're talking about right here has been rarely seen there are three others out there involving repunch dates for the 1907 that are a little bit more common now let's switch into the uh, Indi uh, the uh, this one right here, the Victory Nickel. So this one is dated 1909, 1908, but we're just going to be briefly talk about the years this coin was produced and we'll get into the design characteristics of it. So let's start with the design characteristics. On the obverse, we see the Head of Liberty with 13 stars around the head, representing the first 13 colonies and states of the United States of America. This coin was made from 1883 until 1913. So it covered over the same period that the Indian head penny did. So we see uh, Lady Liberty right here, date down here, 13 colonies represented by stars going around the outside. When we flip it over, we see a large V in the center representing the Roman numeral five. So it's a five cent coin. So we've got the Roman numeral for five right in the center there. We've got a wreath going around the outside, and then we see United States of America, uh, five, the V for five, and then cents. As far as the production amount for these goes, the highest year of production is going to be later in the series. The year 1911, there are 39 million of these made. The rarest of the year is the 1913, in which there are only five that were made or five that have uh, kind of been floating out there that people have speculated on. So keep your eye out there for the uh, 1911 Victory Nickel, the one I've got right here. There are 22 million made, so chances are you could still come across these. All right, let's start to recap what we looked at and what we talked about in today's video. So we got into the 1908 uh, Victory Nickel right here. We started it off with talking about the Flying Eagle scent. So this was the predecessor to the Indian Head Penny. 
And before the Flying Eagle cent, we had the large one cent coin, similar to what they use in the United Kingdom. We didn't talk about this one too much just because we're short on time. Then we had this coin right here to start off the Indian head nickel series. Now this one was a little bit different because of its metal content. It was 88% uh, co copper, 12% nickel, and then it switched over to 95% copper, 5% tin and zinc. So this one right here is going to be a little bit larger than this one right here. The highest year of production, 1907. The lowest year of production, 1909 S Indian head cent, because they were making all kinds of different varieties of pennies in that year. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. Enjoy and best of luck coin collecting out there. Take care.